Okay, we are going live. So, hi guys, it is Wednesday. We are live once again, and it is the middle of the week. Today is Wednesday the 22nd, uh, July 22nd, and um, Vicki and I just have put plans together to work on a project together that you guys may start to see next week. So uh, I'm really excited about it. It's kind of something that we uh, we haven't done anything quite like this that we're going to be working on uh, the same project. So I'm kind of kind of. Um, it was actually my idea. <laughs> okay, it was your idea. That's true. That's true. You're going to say you wasn't. It wasn't my idea to. Yes, but it was it my idea to do something with something together to use. That was your idea, okay, yes. Thank you. But the idea of what the final project I'm would not, be. I'm thank what? you. Okay. All right. It's a collaboration. So Vicky had part of the idea, and I had part of the idea. So uh, I think, and I think it's going to be you really guys cool. Get to hear our arguments. I think it's going to be really cool. I, I really, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really neat. And you guys will see the final project. And I don't know how many videos it's going to take. But I don't think it'll take that many. Maybe a couple videos. I'm not sure. Anyway, all right. Let's get into today. Um, so, and you guys saw again on Facebook. I kind of, I, I, and I think this, um, tell me what you guys think. But I think when I give a little clue on the Facebook Live about what the questions are. I think that kind of creates a little anticipation. I anyway. can. I got your router bit today. It'll go out tomorrow. Okay, so I got a, an email from... Okay, wait. Leonard yes. has the right idea. Eric, you have not learned that Vicki has all the ideas and is always right. Leonard... I have to take a drink now. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi, Tess. All right. Hi, David. We're moving on. Um, <laughs> it's uh, You're right, Leonard, but it's not as much fun that way. Uh, so Brad writes, I have a sign that I had people at work sign with a marker, and then I carved it. The sign is finished and sealed up. A guy forgot to sign it and wants to add his signature. Any suggestions? So here is the sign that he did, which I think is really, really cool. Okay. That look good? Thomas said, just say yes, dear. Yeah, it looks good. All right. So what he said is somebody forgot to uh, autograph that, and it already had a finish on it and everything. So he wanted to know what I suggested. So I answered him, and I... I show it, because I'm on your chest. Show this? Yes. Well... So I answered him, and I said, I want to read what I answered him before I show the second picture. I'm getting a stink eye. And see, that's not my fault. <laughs> so here's, I said, here's what I would do. I'd use blue painter's tape, and I would uh, put blue painter's tape over where the guy needs to sign, and... Um, Tape the area that you want to carve, have him sign it on top of the blue painter's tape, then carve through the tape, then mask everything else off, spray your black. He carved all of those signatures? Is those are all carved. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought they just wrote on it. I no, gotcha. those are all carved. He, he had them sign it, and then he followed the oh, signature cool. with a router. Gotcha. Right. Those are all carved. All right. Um, so I said, then you can either paint it by hand with a little brush and black, or you could tape it off, uh, or excuse me, remove the tape. All right, after you carve it, you, you Sorry. messed up my mojo there. Uh, so after you carve it, then you can either spray it black or you could paint it with a little uh, paintbrush and black, um, and then remove the tape, and you might have a little touch up, but it should be good. And uh, he said he tried it. It worked perfectly. And here's uh, here's was was the final. I think it was this Don uh, Dan Weiler? Willis Willis yeah Willis I think yeah 
So this was the picture before. Well, anyway, that's the one he added and it blended right in. So if you guys, so I thought that that would be helpful for you guys. So if you guys have, and I want to do a video on this. I've been meaning to do a video on this for a long time. If you guys have a, a board that is, uh, maybe it's old and weathered. It's a piece of driftwood. It's a piece of barn wood, something like that. And you want to carve in it and you don't want to have to sand it off. Then here's what I would do. Cover that thing with blue painter's tape or some type of masking. There's other products as well. Carve through that masking, then paint it, then remove the tape, and you should be good. Um, I know I've done this myself, but I just haven't done it on camera. And I want to do a video on this. Find some old piece of hunk of you know crappy wood that's all weathered and stuff and uh, and do some carving in it anyway so that's the uh, that's where this idea came from and there have been many times where I've done stuff like that that somebody has brought me a sign there have been times when people added a, another child to the family and they needed it the same sign they needed something carved in it or you know a picture of something and uh, that's normally how I did it so anyway so I hope that was helpful, guys. Now, the next question. Uh, what did I do with it? All right, hang on. Huh. I had a whole printout and it's gone. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to paraphrase. I have to do it by memory. I had my paper, but I evidently I, I left it on my desk. Well, I had my bags on, on everything, so I think I just left it on my desk. But here's the deal. So, uh, Chris, uh, is it? Vickery. Vickery uh, wrote me an email last night, and he said, Eric, I do, uh, I'm doing my signs, and I'm really improving on my outset letters. He said, but it's driving me nuts. Again, I'm paraphrasing. He says, my, letter, my outset letters look good, but then when I go to do the cloud... Um, I have a tough time um, doing the cloud and making it look right, and I'm, I'm ruining my signs by just making that cloud. So, he's, he asked, actually, if we could make something in the laser that would help him draw those clouds, which is virtually impossible. We'd have to have, you know, 30 or 40 or 100 different ones. Rachel says you didn't make a list, did you? I, uh, no, I didn't make a list. Thank you, Rachel. Stick that knife in a little further. All right. I'm good at winging it. So here's what I did. I went out and played around with this. This is what I suggested to him. Lay your sign out and then get something that's round that's the right size so you can draw cl your clouds using some type of a pattern. So here's what I did. And it kind of surprised me, actually. I thought it would work, but I didn't think it would work as good as it did. So here's, um, I did some layout. One inch letters and inch and a half letters. And I'm hoping that you can uh, zoom in on that. So I well, have, of course you are. <laughs> I have, um, everywhere I look when I need a pattern, I always, I see circles hey, like, Bert. hey, Bert, Bert Graham. Yeah. I see circles. So what I have here, is I have a series of different size circles. There's one, there's another one, there's one, and there's one. So I'm thinking that here's what I did. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna draw a line, top and bottom. I'm just eyeballing this, guys. You guys, it might be the wind. It could be the reason it's the focus is going in and out. Oh, really? The focus is going in and out? Now what I'm going to do is I am going to just make a mark about center in all of those letters. I wish this was showing up a little bit better. And and I am going to, you know what, let me turn this around. I'll stand up and I'll turn this around so you guys can maybe see a little bit better what I'm doing. So there's the center of my D, or, you know, basically. Okay. 
and you can you do a, use a pencil. Some people like to use a a black marker. A black marker works pretty well too. But in essence, if you want really uniform, and uh, obviously Chris is good at following a line, if you want something that's uniform clouds, this is a way to do it. Gosh, I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. Not if you, you might move it out of screen. I was up on it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Do, do the, the circles actually show? Oh, here. good. Good. So here's one that I did earlier. These are two inch letters. And um, these are letters uh, on the. Pull it back. On the top. On the top one, I used. Um, I think I used the big, or no, I used the little circle on the bottom of the cup. I used that, but I didn't think it was big enough. I didn't like it. It wasn't big enough. So then I used the bottom of the cup. But again, guys, there, you know, you probably got circles. This is a little pill bottle, you know. You probably got circles that you can use. So if you have trouble drawing your clouds, this does take time. For me, I just take a pencil and, and do that, but yeah, I've been doing it for 50 years. So if you want more uniform clouds or humps, whatever you want to call them, um, just, you know, find something that is the right size. So if I was doing, um, if I was doing like three inch letters or bigger letters, I would find something that's a bigger circle. Maybe, uh, maybe this thing. You know, there's circles everywhere. So, you know, just kind of use what you've got. Oh, Chris is here. Oh, there you are, Chris. Hey, Chris. So um, now you can kind of see what I was talking about, Chris. Hopefully this will uh, this will help you. But the the um, again, I thought that these were a little too small. The ones I thought on the bottom, a little obviously a little Dixie cup, uh, worked out pretty well. So. I could draw the lines on these uh, on these inch and a half, and I think these I think that would still be a little bit too big. I think that uh, that would actually be about the right size. So just draw a line, top and bottom, and give yourself some room where you want the top of your circles to be. This obviously is not anything I'm going to carve. This is just a piece of scrap. Then make a make you know just eyeball a center line on those letters or somewhere around there well now I have to stand up again I think this should be about right Yeah, I know it's silent. That doesn't happen very often. I know. Obviously, I'm concentrating. But anyway. Hey, Emma. Who? Emma. Emma. Anyway, so I'm hoping that that kind of no. shows up. No. It, it doesn't? No. I'm, I'm backed off a bit. I'm not okay. going to zoom in again. So, all right. Well, anyway. The other one showed up really good. Okay, good. So, that's my suggestion, uh, Chris. I hope it helps. Um, I just think that you know it's a much better idea for you guys to find what size circles that you need that's going to look right. But uh, that actually works pretty good. And once you've got that line, and again, you know, I had said to Chris, you know, you might use uh, you might use this instead. I'm not sure whether this will uh, show up better or not. Let me see. And you know what? Somebody had, nah, I don't know if it does or not. Somebody had sent me. <laughs> Leonard Davis wants to know if you stole my Dixie cups. <laughs> That's my cup. I gave him a couple. Yeah, I've got a few. I um, said it will help for sure. Thank you. Will this be posted on YouTube so I can reference it later? Yeah, it will. Uh, probably late next week sometime. Yeah, I put them in, in sequence. So probably late next week, Chris. Um, 
But you know, another thing that I was looking for that somebody had sent me is a, a pencil that looks like this, but it's white. And uh, somebody in the past had said that they use that for making their clouds on that uh, black and it shows up really well. So you might try that or even white chalk for drawing those if you if you have trouble seeing them when you're actually carving. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my tip. Something I just kind of came up with off the top of my head. You are just and it good. seemed. Tessa says she likes how you get going and just keep going. And don't shut up. No, Thanks, Tessa. That wasn't a negative. Uh, oh, I've already showed that. That's not the same purpose of the day. Anyway. So that was something that kind of worked out. Anyway. Okay, Pam. All right. Matt, M Matthew Marlin says he uses a white crayon. Does he? That's yeah. See? Yeah, white crayon, uh, chalk, or a white pencil. It's a great idea. <laughs> Emma says, hello, my favorite friend's grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's Gwenny's Emma. Emma. Yeah. Emma. Oh, okay, like you said Gwenny's Emma. Twin. So Gwenny's Emma. Hi, Emma. <laughs> All right, sign carvers of the day, Adam Wolford. Yeah, see, Tessa said she loved the way you do that. She wasn't oh. being mean at all. Thank you, Tessa. Very I first love sign. That tree. That's a first sign. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Josh, you? Uh, Adam, Adam Wolford. Wolford. Yeah, Adam Wolford. I looked at the Josh on the top. That's why. Fantastic said. job, Adam. I love that. Those signs, those those lines, for a first sign, man, you have got a talent for this, my friend. Keep doing it. Amazing. That looks really, really great. Uh, now this one is. I I thought it was a really good oh, carving. That was done by. Um, Kathy never She's got the, back to me. She didn't. Oh, that's her first one. First carving. Oh, it She's is. The teacher that I told you. She's okay. She's a teacher, yes. I don't know. Maybe she didn't get my email because I asked her for her last name and she didn't get back um, to me. Gosh darn it. Klein. So, Kathy Klein. Kathy Klein? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, great job, Kathy. Uh, I love that. I have actually carved that Spartan logo myself and it's fun to carve. Great job, Kathy, for your first sign. I wish it was a little clearer. The, the, the picture pictures. was kind of... Um, all right, Joshua Joshua Robbins. This is really cool. I like that. Yeah. I, I love the way he did the background the way he did. Uh, I just think that is such a cool design. And uh, used... It uh, looks like our Bookman letters. Those look like our Bookman. And uh, really... Very cool. Really holding a great line. Terrific job, Joshua. Some great sign carvers tonight. Check this one out. Keith Smith. All right, I'm too close. Hold on. So this is 12 inches by 14 inches. And my, he didn't, I don't think he told me, but my hunch is this is that flame box elder uh, that I have, uh, I have pieces of that has the red oh, streaks yeah, in it. See it? See yeah. it? Mm -hmm. it? I've got a piece of it out there. I used it for. Uh, did I use that for Habib's sign? The young yeah. nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That flame box so elders, a, so know. cool. Greg anyway, Wallen says you are the reason that we can do such nice first signs. Thank you guys so much for all your help. We really appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. That is really cool. Yeah, that's really, really that's cool. That's a lot of painting. That's a lot of painting, but really looks cool. Great job, Keith. And Kelly, I think Herbeck. I would guess Herbeck. Toots Bar and Grill. That's your yeah. pig's name. That's the, your pig's name. Yep, yeah, look at that. Very cool. Great job, Kelly. So Jay Burby said, how do you get such vibrant colors on that? Um, well, that was Keith that did that. I'm assuming that probably either he's using one shot, which is just pretty much one coat, or um, or he's doing multiple coats. The acrylic paints will look like that, but when you put a clear over the top of them, if it is it really truly clear, pop, huh? it will make those colors just pop. Anyway, great job everybody on the sign carvers of the day. Some first time carvers there and some advanced. You guys did fantastic job. So, 
that is that. Uh, any questions or anything I need to go over? No? Tessa says you're not being you're you're just not used to her being nice. <laughs> That's true. That is true. <laughs> Pam Berry says she's going to send me a couple pictures that maybe I can use for templates. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what? Who's not here? Charlie's not here. Charlie's not here. Yeah. Who oh, did that bear thing last night? Grizzly. It's yeah. it's going to be called Charlie's Grizzly. Well, I've seen it. I don't. Not, I'm not sure yet. I yeah, haven't carved it carved yet. It. We'll see. I don't see anything. All right, boys and girls. You like your cloud. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm glad that helps. I, You know, it, it's so funny that I've just done this stuff by instinct for so many decades that I don't, that just never even occurred to me that somebody would have an issue with that. But it's just because I've been doing it since I was 12 years old. So. Jose Jimenez says, how do I send my work for SCOTD? Just email it to me directly, Jose, eric at makeawoodsign.com. That's all you got to do, eric at makeawoodsign.com. That's it. And just put... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, squawk. Somebody's squawking. Um, anyway, yeah, just send it to me directly and uh, put in the title SCOTD or Sign Carvers of the Day. But, um, yeah. And if you can give me some, you know, some of the background around the sign, I, I always love to do that and share that as well. Oh, yes, I did, Tessa. Uh, Greg Wallen says, Eric, if you had to pick one paint for outlining, what would it be? One paint for outlining. outlining. Um, Out, I'm, I, for uh, maybe like a, if you're talking like a brush on paint, uh, one shot. I love the one shot and it's made for pinstriping. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by outlining, but uh, one shot paint is made for automotive pinstriping. So it it's amazing. I love that stuff. And it's it's pretty expensive. It's like 20 bucks for a little half pint, but it lasts forever. It goes a long, right, long way. You got ways. two more questions. Okay. Jay Burby, do you still recommend freezer paper with inkjet? Quickly. Yes. I do. And also try wax paper. Uh, wax paper has a lot the same as freezer paper, but you can see through it. I want to do some more stuff with wax paper. The only problem I had with that, it wouldn't go through my printer. Yeah, because it doesn't come in sheets like freezer paper does. So you have to kind of play with it. it I got it to work well on my printer, but Vicki didn't get it to work well on hers. But yes, freezer paper with inkjet. Okay. Yes. Leonard says, if you use color oil-based color stain... Do you need oil poly, and can you use water base? You know, I, I traditionally I would I wouldn't use oil base and water base on the same project, but I've proved that there are some stuff that I've done that where I've put water based czar over the top of oil based helmsman or the acrylic spray, and it's worked fine. I haven't had any issues at all. So my uh, my suggestion is try it on a piece of scrap first and see if it works for you because uh, again most people would say you can't mix those two but I have done it myself and it has worked but there might be some combinations that wouldn't so you just got to experiment and try that's it guys we are out thank you so much we love you all and um if you have, if you're seeing this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. And if you guys on Facebook and on YouTube can give us some likes and uh, thumbs Cheers. up and all of that, we would love it. We so appreciate it. And uh, comments, email me directly if you have questions, and I will get back to you. I do that uh, relentlessly. So, have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night. We love you. Bye.